Riverside has been launching feature after feature. You can use our Magic Clips feature, AI-generated show notes, and we have even more coming soon. But at Riverside, we don't just launch new features, although we do that very often. We want to continually improve the entire experience end-to-end. -end. That's why we have a completely redesigned dashboard for your Riverside account. We've made it even easier to organize and access your studios. You can sort those studios by date, and studios that are scheduled to record will appear at the top of the list. So let's jump in and walk through the new changes to the Riverside dashboard. When you log into your Riverside account, you'll now see that your studio listings is here in a left-hand sidebar. And when you type a search term, it'll filter all the studios so you can access it quickly. We also have new sorting options where you can go oldest to newest or newest to oldest. And if you need to create a new studio, just click the plus button here and you'll get the new create studio option. Title your studio. If you want to do audio only content, you can toggle this on. Transcription language, schedule it right away and then click create. Once your studios are created, you'll see it here in the list. You can quickly jump in to record just by clicking the little camera icon on any of your studios. And to adjust any of the studio settings, just click the three dots next to the studio name. Here you can quickly rename the studio, go quickly to the studio, click invite to record, and you'll get the option to send an audience, guest, or producer link. You could just copy it here and then send in an email or text, or type their email and click invite, and we'll send them a link to their inbox. You still have access to the studio settings here with all the settings you're familiar with, but you'll notice we've collapsed the sidebar when you're focusing on your settings. You'll also notice if you jump into a recordings, we've collapsed the sidebar so you have more room to look at your content and recordings, magic clips, and so forth. To get back to the sidebar, just click the hamburger menu in the top left corner, and you can quickly jump to another studio in your account. We've also added the schedule studio option quickly to that three dot menu. Now let's say I'm recording at 9 a.m. tomorrow, if I schedule a studio, you'll now see that studio jumps to the top of the list. That makes adding a schedule to your studios even more useful. If I schedule another studio here, let's say this one is for Thursday, you'll see that studio now jumps up to the top of the list and it will stay in order. The very next studio that's being used will be the first in the list and everything else will be in chronological order. And when you click a studio that's scheduled to record, you'll see the next recording date and time right here at the top. You can remove that schedule quickly right here or edit it. And once that schedule is removed, you'll see that studio drops down in the list, keeping only scheduled studios at the very top. You can also search for recordings now in each studio using the search box here. So those are some quick changes to the Riverside dashboard to make it easier and faster to get to your studios and productions. If you have any questions, leave a comment below this video. I answer all of those personally. And maybe you're looking to start a video podcast, but you're not sure where to begin. I have an entire walkthrough step-by-step -step on producing a video podcast from connecting your USB microphone and webcam all the way to producing it. You can check that video out above here. And if you want to learn how to optimize your podcast for every app like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube Music, I have a video on that right up here. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.